Greetings everyone, my name is Brent, although most people know me online as Dr. Wolf. Not a real doctor, I actually work as an accountant. And before the age of 35, my wife and I paid off our house and became completely debt free. No credit card debt, no car loan payments, we own our own home and have zero debt. And this is something that I want to encourage other people to reach in their own lives. This is something that, unfortunately, a lot of people think is, frankly, impossible for most people to achieve. And I don't understand that. Because when I think that so many, especially in America, think that having a life free from debt is impossible, I kept scratching my head. I couldn't quite get it. Every time I'd crunch the numbers myself, I knew that it would take a long time. I knew it would take a lot of mental discipline, but I always thought that it was possible. I knew that if you could push towards that goal, eventually you could reach it. This is a weekly series that I am hoping will, over the course of perhaps maybe once a week and over several months, come to help people understand that getting out of debt for the rest of your life, having that financial security is achievable, is attainable. Something that I'm hoping many other people can achieve in their lives, having that freedom, having that security. It's something that my wife and I have now, something that I'm hoping we can have for the rest of our lives before the age of 35. We're both 36 now. And frankly, it's been such a wonderful burden taken away out of our lives together. We've been able to do so much more because we own our own home. And we have no credit card debt, no car payments, no mortgage payments. We can choose what to do with the money we earn every month. I do want to establish it requires a lot of discipline. From a very early age, it requires a lot of discipline, but it is achievable. But the very first thing you need to get through your mindset is that it is not impossible that so many people seem to think it is. It is not impossible. Especially in America, people seem to think that it is absolutely impossible to get out of debt, so why even try? And quite frankly, I don't get that kind of mindset. To begin with, my wife and I, we bought our first home about a month after we got married. We had maybe 5% of a down payment for our home. Not that much. We didn't have really a whole lot stored away for a down payment, so we didn't have that great of a starting point, but Thankfully, we didn't have any other debt as a starting point, so that's at least one good step in our favor. At the same time, it only took us just under six years to pay off that house. And a lot of you may be thinking, well, we must have these really incredibly high-paying jobs in order to pull that off, right? No, 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 absolutely not. I am a full-time accountant. My wife is actually a full-time cake decorator at a lo local grocery store. I have been working my job for about 11 and a half years now, but I'd be willing to bet that more than 90% of you out there are going to overestimate what a full-time accountant actually earns after 11 and a half years of working the same job at the same company. It's far more about how you spend your money rather than how much you earn. Because even after 11 and a half years, I'm not earning as much as I would have expected. I'm really not. But I've grown used to it. I've grown comfortable to it. I've grown content with it. But I've grown mental discipline on how to spend what I've earned and be okay with that. I wanna be able to help other people to achieve that same mental discipline in their lives, that regardless 
of whatever your financial circumstances, little by little, bit by bit, building those daily habits, those short-term habits, those long-term habits, and find their way out of debt permanently. It may not take only six years like it did for my wife and I. It may take until your 40s. It may take until your 50s. But just imagine for a moment that you no longer have to pay any monthly credit card bills, no car loan payments. You don't have to pay rent. You don't have to pay a mortgage for the rest of your life, ever. Imagine for just a few moments the amount of freedom that gives you. Perhaps you may be one of those who are still in high school or just getting into college and you don't have to worry about those things just yet. Perhaps you're just worrying about eventually getting into that kind of mindset. But you still have parents or family who are currently in that mindset. And you may have to think about, well, how is it that they can handle those things? It can be done. For those who have been living their lives for decades in debt, or for those who have never made a single credit card payment or rent payment or mortgage payment in their life, the kind of advice that I want to give over weeks and months can apply to everyone and anyone. This is the kind of security and freedom that I want to encourage so many others to achieve in their life. And like I said, it's going to be a weekly series that I'm hoping a lot of people are gonna be able to learn and appreciate. Bit of an experiment. And it's something that I deeply, deeply believe in because it's a big reason why I became an accountant to begin with. I think a lot about these things. <laughs> Financial management is a big part of who I am. It's a great interest of mine, a great hobby of mine. That's a big reason why I've become so focused on getting out of debt to begin with, because it's something I think about. But little things. It's always little things that become big things later on. Little habits. But before anything else, I wanted to establish that what so many other people think is frankly impossible, that debt is just a normal part of life, it's not. It is an essential part of getting into life. Don't get me wrong. There are a couple of things that I think are essential part of life as part of debt. Your education and your house. I believe that those two things are worth going into debt over. Not so much anything else. I'll get into those in another video, but I believe that your education and your house are worth going into debt over, but you don't have to stay into debt for the rest of your life over those two things. I'll be discussing those in much greater detail in other videos, but to begin with, before the age of 35, we owned our own home with zero debt, and we want other people to achieve that same level of independence in their lives too. Regardless of how long it takes, it can be done. I would like to hear what you think of that statement. And I hope that you'll be back to hear about more next time. Like I've said before, my name is Brent, though most people know me as Dr. Wolf Online. And as per usual, I look forward to hearing from you.